हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू सिंकल स्टडी सक्सेस एंड टूडे डिस्क्रेट मैथमेटिक सेशन लो मी को ग्राफ्स एंड ट्रीज सो इन यूनिट फाइव ग्राफ्स एंड ट्रीज सो वी हैव ए वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज अ शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ अल गौरदम ओके हियर शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ प्रॉब्लम्स एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट एज ए शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ अल गौरदम Okay, so we have a different types of algorithms to find out the shortest path. But here we are using the only one particular algorithm to find out the shortest path. But first, let me explain how we can find out the shortest path. What is the shortest path? Okay, and then I will discuss the what particular algorithm we use to find out the shortest path. Right, ma? So this is very important one. Exam point of view, semester exam point of view. This is very important one, ma. So what do you mean by shortest path? The name itself is there. Shortest in the means what? Small, small path is nothing but here way or distance. Okay, here path is nothing but what? The way or distance, ma. For example, let us say you, um, we are at home, right? So we are all have the college. right some x college is there and you are at home okay so from uh, your home to the particular your engineering college okay the distance will be there is a one route okay the one route and it should be 10 kilometers and there is also another route from your home to college that is 5 kilometers okay so which path will you choose to reach the college ma daily so daily we have to go to the college for regular classes okay not the online classes for regular offline classes we have to go to the college regularly and daily so which path will you choose ma is the 10 kilometers or 5 kilometers obviously we will choose the 5 kilometers because how we can uh, among the 5 and 10 5 kilometers is the shortest length or a shortest path between your home and your college okay so irrespective of the way you see here the way should be like this like this like this or direct like direct line will be there okay so don't see the route see the weightage of the graph you see see the weightage of the edge here right that is nothing but what here shortest path ma okay so actually um there are several different algorithms are there to find out the shortest path between the two vertices ma so you know Uh, so this is a graphs concept na fifth unit what is the topic we have graph graph is nothing but what a collection of vertices as well as edges so edge is nothing but what here between the two vertices what we have the uh, line what we have the link between the two vertices is nothing but edge so here we have a several vertices okay there should be a, some path between the vertices okay in order to find the shortest path between the vertices between the vertices we use different algorithms in that in that we will use the most reputed algorithm called discus-thras algorithm okay i will excl- explain what uh, what is that algorithm in the next class okay but normally i say here to find out the shortest path between the two vertices we use this algorithm his algorithm he is a dutch mathematician uh, in 1955 he, 1959 he introduced this algorithm okay so here see the first example example 1 i explained with um, here ex- uh, here uh, this example i will explain in normal manner okay not with the help of algorithm in the next session i will explain the example with algorithm okay there is a several po- process are there what do you mean by an algorithm algorithm is nothing but what it is a step by step processor okay so there is a step by step processes to find out the shortest path between the vertices but here just see the uh, diagram carefully how many vertices are there this is a weighted simple graph okay so here a b uh, c d e z so here a b c d z so 1 2 3 4 5 vertices are there and what he ask what is the length of the shortest path between the a to z so here the starting vertex will be a and at ending vertex will be z so here what we need to find out ma we need to find out the shortest path between the a and z okay then see how we can find out so see here 
I'll write the process one by one. First, the starting vertices will be A now. Okay, and see how many vertices are there? A, a rest of the vertices here B, C, D, E, Z. Here, what we have to find out the nearest vertices, the closest vertices to the A, we have to find out. So, what are the vertices we have again? A have the edge with B, and A have the edge with D. Okay, A does not have the edge with C and Z and E. So, just simply leave the leave these edges. Just you in the in this step first consider the what are the edges? What are the vertices have the edge with A? Because our starting vertices what ma A. So A and A to B, A to D. Now see the weightage between the A to B, weightage between the A to B, and weightage between the A to D. So here, what is the weight between the A to B? That is four. And what is the weight between the uh, A to D? That is two. So obviously, which which weight will you choose? What is the minimum value among these two? So two is the answer. So here you need to choose A comma D path. Okay. And the next step, what you have to use ma? Already you uh, you start with A and then you go to D. Okay. Now. You in the next step, you need to find out what is the closest vertices to the D. Okay, already you visit A. From A, you visit D. Now you have to visit what is the nearest element to the D. Now check what are the edges have uh, D. See what are the edges uh, D does have. D only have only one edge called E. Okay, D does not have the edge with B, and D does not have the edge with E, and D does not have the edge with Z here. So D only have the edge E here. So you should select this. The next nearest vertices of D is E. Okay, so the here weight of D is equal to what ma? Three. Next, let's say A to D, we visit to two kilometers. Let us say two kilometers, and then D to E, uh, it is a three kilometers. Now, where we are? We are at E position. Okay. In the third step, this is the first step. This is second step. In the third step, what we have to do? Where we are? E. Now, check what are the edges with E. How many edges are there from with these vertices? E. E have the edge with B. E have the edge with Z. E does not have the edge with C. Ma, already these two vertices are visited, so no, uh, no worry about this. No worries. So you have to check these remaining vertices. And next, here, E E E vertices have uh, edge with B, and E have the edge with uh, what you call Z. Okay. Now check weight of E comma B and weight of E comma Z. So what is the weight of E comma B? That is three. And what is the weight of E comma Z? That is one. Now tell me, ma, what will you uh, choose? Definitely you will choose one here, because among one and three, what is the minimum path? One. So here we choose the weight is E comma Z. Okay. So what is the next nearest uh, vertices? Of E, that is Z. That is what one one kilometer we have to uh, travel to reach Z. You see here, here uh, check this. This Z is our final vertex. What he ask A and Z. We we reach Z. So no need to check another uh, edges. So you can stop the process here. So you starts with A. You start you ends with Z. Clear ma? No need to travel remaining edges. Uh, sorry, no need to travel remaining edges, and also you ne uh, no need to travel remaining vertices. This is the shortest path of this graph. That is how many kilometers we have to visit? Two, three, three, five, five plus one, six kilometers is enough. If you go from here to here, and then here, and then here, we can also reach the Z. But what will happen? The distance will be. Increased, the weightage will be increased. So, from the algorithm, we have to find out only shortest one. So, what is the best path for this? So, this and this and this is the best path. Okay, ma. So, like this, we need to find out the shortest path uh, between the two vertices. This is the normal way. 
not not per algorithm so in the next slides i explained the procedure what i explained uh, here we need to find out the next closest vertex to the particular vertex okay and then we have to travel from one vertex to another vertex all the points i gave here in detail manner okay no meeku ikkada nenu enti explain chesano adhe meeku notes ichanu okay na so see this example one ikkada entante meeku kevalam shortest path ni ela find out cheyalo cheppanu okay na this is not the process actually ga meer exam lo sem exams lo rasinappudu semester exams lo ee particular question ni answer cheyadaniki you will get around 8 sometimes you may get for 8 marks sometimes you may get 15 marks okay i'll tell you meer 8 marks ku vaste ela raayali 15 marks ku vaste ela raayali ani meeku cheptanu okay na based on the algorithm right so in this session just shortest path ela meeku find out cheyali ani maatrame cheppanu ma next session ఎగ్జామ్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ వ్యూలో మీరు స్టెప్ బై స్టెప్ ఎలా డ్రా చేయాలో మీకు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తాను ఓకే సో థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ మా డూ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ సంకల్ప్ స్టడీ సక్సెస్